Are you experiencing frustrations working in MuseCore? You're not alone. Today, we're delving into the challenges users are facing with the latest version of this popular music notation software. Let's uncover the reasons behind the frustration and explore possible solutions. MuseCore 4 introduced a revamped user interface, aiming to enhance user experience and streamline workflows. However, many users have found the new interface cumbersome and difficult to navigate for them individually. Icons and menu placements have changed, leading to confusion and frustration among lifetime users accustomed to the previous layouts in MuseCores 1 through 3. Additionally, the redesign may limit users' ability to personalize the interface to their preferences initially. This is something that all musicians will simply have to get used to when working in MuseCore. Despite the efforts to improve performance, MuseCore 4 still has a decent amount of performance issues and bugs. There are a fair amount of users that report frequent crashes, sluggish response times, and erratic behavior when editing or reusing playback. These technical difficulties disrupt workflow and hinder productivity, leading to frustration and dissatisfaction amongst users. While the developers continue to aim to address these issues, the persistence of bugs remains a significant concern for many users. These bugs are more persistent the bigger the score that you are working on is. For example, you will face more crashes if working on a wind band piece versus if you're working on a string quartet piece. Overall, the main solution to this is to save your work throughout the entire compositional process and download the latest version of MuseCore whenever that comes out. MuseCore 4's compatibility with existing scores and plugins has been a source of frustration for some users. Additionally, plugins developed for earlier versions may not function correctly or be compatible with MuseCore 4, limiting users' ability to access additional tools and features. A lot of these issues will be solved over time, as more people will create more fixes for each individual issue. Many users have also expressed frustration in MuseCore 4's resource-intensive requirements, particularly for older or less powerful computers. Running MuseCore 4 smoothly often requires significant CPU and memory resources, which can lead to lagging performance and system crashes on devices that do not meet the software's recommended applications. If this is a situation that you are facing, it may be beneficial to use MuseCore 3 or any other older version of MuseCore instead of MuseCore 4 at this time. Additionally, MuseCore 4 steep learning curve has been a significant source of frustration for some users, especially newcomers to any notation software. While MuseCore offers extensive documentation and tutorials, there are some users that report that some of these resources have been outdated, incomplete, or difficult to understand. As a result, there are some users who struggle to learn the software effectively, leading to frustration and a reluctance to explore its full potential. This is where Facebook groups, other social media groups, and internet forums will be extremely beneficial to all of these users and for MuseCore at large to use. While there are a fair amount of reasons why you may have frustrations working in MuseCore, the development team is making progress on fixing some of the listed issues. With every update, there are more notational features and less bugs. Progress is continually being made, and I am very excited to see MuseCore be more widely used in the music composition and notation world. If you stayed till the very end, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment sharing your opinions, and have a wonderful musical day!